Silver! Away! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. this day, cowboys gather around lonely campfires in the western United States and repeat stories of the phantom figure of the plains. They tell of his daring crusade against outlaws and crime, of his great horse, Silver, of the Indian Tonto, who was the masked rider's faithful companion in danger of every sort. And now, as Silver thunders down the trail, adventure calls once more. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, old fellow. Tonto's waiting to help us. I'll see you. A gang of outlaws led by Black Jack Martin was badly in need of money. We see them now assembled in a woods not far from the large ranch of Steve Garrett. It is night, and the men listen eagerly as their leader speaks. I'll outline everything to you men. You can pass the plans along to the guards when they go off duty. It's a good thing you got some plans, Black Jack. We're downright broke. We won't be that way long. We'd better not be. We can't travel far without cash. I'd like to know how the law happened to get so close to us in our last camp. I got my suspicions about that, Hawk. One of our bunch double-crossed us. That's what I figured. I had an idea who it was. That's why a couple of our men were shot up. You mean the lawman didn't get them? No, the lawman didn't get them. I got them myself. Oh, so now we don't have to suspicion none of the bunch, huh? I figure not. What we got to do now is to get some cash and get it quick. We have to clear out of here and put plenty of ground behind us. What's your idea? There ain't no cash around town except what Steve Garrett brings in when he buys things. Steve Garrett's got more cash and he knows what to do with. Yeah, but how can we get it? He's got about 25 men in his ranch, each one handy with a six-gun. I got an idea how to get some cash from him. How's that? He's got a kid named Billy, seven years old. What about it? He'll likely be coming to town tomorrow to buy supplies. I found out he generally comes on Wednesday. Yeah? He'll bring his young'un with him. Now, that's where our plans popular among the people of his district. He owned the largest ranch in the county and employed a crew of more than 20 men. But though he was proud of his ranch and position, he reserved his greatest love for his son, Billy. We see them on a trip to town for supplies. The rancher was met by a deputy with word that Sheriff Wilson wanted to see him in his office. Garrett left Billy on the porch. 
He's inside, Mr. Garrett, and wants to see you right away. All right. Burns said you want to see me, Sheriff. Something extra special turned up? Yeah. Where's that kid of yours? On the porch. Why? All right. Just as well he don't hear what we say. Sit down there, Steve. You're downright serious about something. What's the trouble? Trouble are plenty, I'm feared. Fact is, we may have more trouble around town than we can handle for long. How's that? Take a look at these handbills, Steve. Reward notices. Hmm. Blackjack Martin, huh? I heard about him. Who ain't? He's a critter that turned Carter County inside out. I heard about that. Then he went to Panamint and raised Hob there. Left for the law on his heels after shooting five men. Had to leave all his loot behind, so he's hard up for cash now. What's all this got to do with me, Wilson? I got a letter here from my friend Jed Slade over Panamint Way. Says he figures Black Jack Martin will be coming here next. That means you might see something of him out your way. It's know that you're pretty well fixed. Oh. So I wanted to warn you. I'd like to see that rat try anything. First place, my hands can give as good a show of fighting as any score men in the country. It was all with me in the army. Yeah, I know. Second place, I don't keep much cash around the house. I know that, Garrett. But Black Jack is, uh, has ways of getting cash in spite of what you've got around the house and in spite of your 20 fighting cow hands. Now, what do you mean? You got a right smart young one. Billy? You bet I have. Watch him mighty close, Garrett. I... Let go of me! Let go of me! Miss your son? Huh? Let go of me! Pa! Make him let me go! Take your hands off my boy, Injun. Let him go. Uh, there. Who are you? Where are you from? Me in store. Buy food. Billy, come here. I didn't do anything, Pa. Was you in the store? Uh-huh. Whoa, I only... Him want candy... Him asked Tonto. Thought you said you left him on the porch. I did, Dad Rabbit. But he's got spunk of his maw and mind of his own. The dickens of a time making him obey. I told you not to go off on that porch. Oh, I only... Him talk to stranger. Who? To Tonto. That me. Oh. That not right. So Tonto fetch him here. Oh, thanks, Tonto. Billy, I told you not to leave the porch and not to talk to strangers. I wanted some candy. You stay where you're put until I'm done talking. Thanks for fetching him, Injun. Mm, that's all right. Me go now. Billy, you wait on the porch till I come for you. Now mind what I say. All right, Pa. That's what I was getting at, Steve. Black Jack and his bunch could take the boy and hold him for ransom. Gosh, I never thought of that. They're ornery enough to do anything in the world for cash. I reckon your 20 guards wouldn't do much good if the, them snakes got the young un. No, you're doggone right, Wilson. You got any special reason for thinking some of the blackjack outfit will be around? Ain't no telling where they'll be. There ain't much in the way of a description on the handbills. They ain't no one ever got a close look at them and lived to tell about it. That's the sort of critters they are. Shoot first and don't leave no witnesses. Well, I'll keep in mind what you said. Keep an eye on the boy. Don't let him get out of your sight. I won't. I'll head for the store now if you're done. That's all I had to say, Steve. I'm much obliged for the warning. All set, Billy. Now we can... Oh, where's the youngster gone? Ain't he there on the porch? No. Hey, Billy. You ought to teach him to mind you. Hey, Billy, where are you anyhow? You looking for the kid? Where is he? I seen him going toward the store a minute ago. I'll teach him to mind me. Come on, Wilson. You tell him what you told me. Might scare the youngster. Well, he needs something to make him mind. Like as not, he's in the store asking someone else to buy candy for him. We'll blame soon find out. Here's the store. I'll teach him. I don't see him in there. Billy! Where are you? Hi there, Mr. Garrett. Fine to see you. Where's Billy? Your young'un? He was here just a minute ago asking an engine to buy him candy. Yeah, but that's the first time. I mean, just a couple of seconds ago, was some man I'd never seen before. Stranger? Yeah, I reckon so. Where'd they go? I didn't know. Well, what was said? Nothing. Hope there ain't nothing the matter, Mr. Garrett. Well, I don't know yet. The stranger buy anything? Yeah, took some candy from that case there, paid me two bits and said never mind the change. He only took about a nickel's worth. Did he give the candy to Billy? Yeah, and the two of them went out. Come to think of it, they went out the back way. I thought nothing of it at the time. Gosh, Mr. Garrett, I hope there ain't nothing wrong. Come on, Sheriff. We'll look out back. I sure didn't think nothing much about it at the time. Shut up and save your wind. Maybe we'll need a description of this stranger. If we do, by thunder, you better have it pat. Billy! Billy Garrett! Billy! Where are you? 
Hey, Billy! What's the matter, Sheriff? Burns, Garrett's kid's disappeared. You seen him? No. Billy! Billy! Yeah, it's just on the ground. Looks like a cap. That's his. He was here all right. Here's a note pinned to it with a thorn. Well, let me see it. What's it say? Let me look, too. Wilson, he's kidnapped. What? Let me see that note there. What's it say? $10,000 ransom. Get it ready. They'll let me know what to do with it if I want the boy back alive. That's the Blackjack Martin bunch, the dirty pack of polecats. They got him. They say they'll kill him if I get the help of the law. You already got the help of the law. But wait, wait a minute. Wait, nothing. Burns, get the other deputies. Right. Round up a half a dozen men. We'll form a posse while the trail is hot. Now, wait a minute. Listen here, Sheriff. Don't you see what this note says? I don't care what the note says. <laughs> Let me pay the ransom. Whatever they ask, it's worth it to get my boy back alive. Paying ransom to such snakes that makes this kidnap business pay. Don't go after him. Wait till they write me again. We're going after him right now. Burns has the boys heading this way already. Don't worry. We'll round up this black Jack Martin boys, gang. Boys, I don't want you to go. All right, boys, don't go. Don't go. refused to obey the instructions given in the ransom note. Instead, he and his men immediately followed what they believed to be the trail of the kidnapper's horse. Meanwhile, Tonto, the faithful Indian companion of the Lone Ranger, returned to their small camp in the woods. Tonto, unaware of the kidnapping, told what had happened in town. With the Blackjack Martin gang working around here, Tonto, Garrett had better keep a mighty close watch on his son. Mm, that's right. I hope you told Garrett. Me tell him. I don't think we've ever tried to trail a man who's as hard to locate as Black Jack. Him not far from here. But he might just as well be in another state for all the success we've had in finding him. Mm, that's right. What's the matter with Silver? Him here sound. Steady, Silver, old boy. What's the matter with you? Maybe snake near. Silver doesn't act like this when a snake is near. Don't go take a look. Back of rock. There now, old boy. Steady. You've warned us. Take it easy. We... Hey, sir, mister. We got your cover. That's sheriff. It's me, all right. We got to get the boy. What's the matter? Hey, look at the mask on that one. Maybe he's Black Jack. Put down your guns. I'm not Black Jack Martin. Hear that? He knows Black Jack's last name. If you ain't him, how do you know his name? Who is there in this part of the country who hasn't heard of that crook? Where's the Garrett kid? Garrett. What matter him? Come on, no need of you trying to deny you got him. I seen you with him this morning. Oh, but me, give him to father. Yeah, and you told the storekeeper that you was teamed up with a white man. We followed your trail. Is the boy gone? Yes, he's gone. There was a note pinned to his cap, demanding ransom. Who was that note from? Didn't have to sign his name. It was Black Jack. He's holding the boy for ransom? You're him. You're wrong. I'm not an outlaw. We not take boy. Where's he at? Talk or we'll start slinging lead. We don't no, no mind to fool around. What did the note say? I reckon you ought to know. What did it say? Said there'd be $10,000 paid for the return of the boy. Said that if the law was notified, the boy wouldn't live. So you immediately went on the trail. Talk, Dad Rancho, or he'll shoot. If we had been the kidnappers, don't you suppose the boy would be hidden somewhere away from camp? Where's he at? I don't know. But you and your blundering way of trying to find him aren't helping his chances to live. I suppose you feel like his father does. The ransom should be paid. No. You're darn right, it's no. If everyone refused to meet the demands of kidnapping rats and polecats, there wouldn't be no profit in it. And they'd soon blame Stop it. If I had my way, a man that pays ransom would be thrown into jail for aiding and abetting the criminal. Stop wasting time. Give them three seconds to produce young'un. If they don't do it, shoot them, we'll have a hunt around the woods ourselves. Wait. You'll not help the child by your methods. So you admit having him. I admit nothing. I didn't have the child, and I don't know where the Blackjack Martin gang is hiding. But I do know that you're using the wrong methods to safeguard Billy Garrett. He's beaten around the bush. Let's take him into jail. Not just yet. Take that mask off him. Go ahead, unmask him and rope him. Yeah. Sheriff, I don't like to fight with lawmen. You hadn't better try it. I'd a lot rather work with you and try to capture the Blackjack bunch. But you won't let me. You just So take... I'll have to work without you. What? Come on, sir. Hey, help me, boy. Help me, boy. Help me, boy.
curtain falls on the first act of tonight's thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story, Billy Garrett, young son of a wealthy rancher, was kidnapped by the Black Jack Martin gang. The boy's father, fearing for Billy's life, asked that the instructions given in the ransom note be obeyed. But Sheriff Wilson, refusing, followed a trail that led to the camp of the Lone Ranger. He unjustly accused the masked man of the kidnapping. But with the aid of Silver, the Lone Ranger and Tonto escaped. Our next act opens in Steve Garrett's home. His wife, Martha, shows signs of exhaustion after a night of worry. Steve is plainly worried as he speaks to the United States Marshal. You see the spot we're in, Marshal Douglas? Sheriff Wilson lost his head complete when he heard about the abduction. Yeah, I can see that, Steve. In spite of all Stephen said, Wilson started out with a posse. And come back without any prisoners. He was downright put out when he come into town last night. So they tell me. You think he did find some of the blackjack Martin men? I doubt it, Mrs. Garrett. I got an idea that there was someone else he followed. He said there was an engine there. The same one that was in his office yesterday. Yeah. I sort of took to that engine. I liked his style. I wouldn't figure him to be in cahoots with the Martin Bunch. If he was, why would he have brought Billy to you as he did? Don't seem like he would have. But Sheriff Wilson don't stop to figure things like that out. He just went blind and loco mad and then set out. Now, what you want me to do, Steve, is to call the lawman off the Martin Trail? You've got to. They said in the note that if I sent lawman after him, they'd never let my boy come home back alive. So you figure to pay the ransom when they write you about it? Oh, what else can I do? I don't know if there's anything else you can do, Steve. The main thing is to get the lad back safe and sound. That's all that counts. I don't care if we have to give everything we got. I want my boy. I'll see Wilson right away. In yeah. the name of heaven, tell him not to try and fight the Black Jack Bunch. Tell him that they won't never return the boy unless he keeps the lawman away. I'll tend to it. I'll ride for town right now. Thanks, Marshal Douglas. Thanks, no end. I'll let you know how I make out. Good. Steve, I can't stand it much longer. Oh, I know, Martha. It's, it's an awful strain. If only we could be sure Sheriff Wilson would leave the crooks alone, there, there might be some chance. I don't Garrett. know. Garrett, what the... A masked man. Steve, that's one of them. Take it easy, Garrett. I'm not an outlaw. I'm a friend of Tuttle, the Indian. The man I seen yesterday? Yes. Uh, what do you want here? Who in the name of goodness are you? Believe me when I say I'm trying to help you. But my boy Billy, he... Blackjack Martin never lets anyone see him at close range. What do you mean? I mean that even if you do pay the ransom, you'll never see your son alive. Oh, oh Lord. But wait, steady, Mr. Garrett. If you're on the level, put them guns down. I can't take that chance, Garrett. Then, then they've already killed my boy. No, I'm sure they haven't. How do you know that? Because they'll not harm him until after they send you full instructions as to how to pay the ransom. Oh, oh. Martha... Marty, honey, buck up. Better rest on that cot, Garrett. She's yeah. had a shock, and I'm sorry for it. But I had to know the answer to one question. Marty, Marty, are you all right, honey? Marty, speak to me. Stranger, get that basin of water on the stand over there. She's all right, Garrett. Here, bathe her face. Yes, sir. There. There now, honey, you're all right. The boy's alive. What? What's that? Your son's alive, and we're going to get him back for you. Stephen, is... Is that the truth? The sooner you let me speak privately to your husband, the sooner we can get started. Well, then, then do it now. In the name of mercy, get started. I'm all right. Step outside with me, Garrett. You, you're going to be all right, Martha? Oh, yes, yes. Come with me. Oh, poor Martha. It's more of a strain than a mother can stand. It's a worse crime than murder, Garrett. That's why the marshal is wrong. Those men must not have protection. But my the boy... The too, is wrong. You said he was alive. His mother needed that hope. Then you I that... hope to heaven he's alive. You've already had further word from the kidnappers. 
You knew? That's what I had to find out, Garrett. Your wife's reactions when I said he'd be alive until that word came gave me the answer. I want to know the details for the payment of ransom. Uh, I see. What are they? They ain't no use denying that I had word from Black Jack last night. No. But I'd sooner pay and hope they'll send my boy back home. And let him live to recognize each member of the gang? I can tell you, Garrett, easier than I can your wife. That there is not one chance in a hundred that payment of the ransom will save the boy's life. Then what are we... Someone must work against this gang quietly and secretly. Not as the sheriff moved against them. But how? They've took every precaution. Let me have the note they sent you. Well, I, I got it here. They want the cash. Ten thousand dollars. That'll make a bulky package. Well, it's, it's got to be put in a trunk. Gold and silver. No folder money. I see. Then it's got to be took to Gunstock Creek and haul downstream to where the overhanging dead tree marks the county line. Then what? Then I look for one end of a rope that comes from the water to dry ground, tie that rope to the trunk, and go away. You'll not know where the other end of the rope is. No. Might be at any point on either side of the creek. That's right. Or in the creek itself. When the crooks are sure no one is near, they'll drag in the trunk and leave no tracks to their camp. It's a clever scheme. How can a man outwit such rats as that? I tell you, mister, no matter what you've got in mind, it won't work. There ain't a chance to beat them crooks. All I can see to do is to pay and hope for the best. You'll do more than that. But I... Go to town today, draw the money from the bank, and get it packed and ready. Well, that's what I planned on, but... When is the cash to be left there? After dark, tonight. Then follow orders to the letter. But between now and then, stop at this house with the trunk. Mm. Now's the time. Come you on. You be plenty careful. It's bad. Keep a sharp watch. I don't want anyone to see me. Mm, Tonto, watch him. He left the trunk unlocked. see them. Now we'll wait for Garrett to drive away. There. There him come. Good. Don't you worry, honey. We'll get the boy back before morning. That night, the Blackjack Martin gang prepared to claim the ransom money. Three of their number, carefully instructed rode to get the trunk containing the gold and silver. While the remainder waited in camp, they listened to their leader. How are we going to handle the kid? That's easy. You don't figure on letting him go free, do you? Don't talk foolish. Oh, gosh, I hate to do for a kid his age. He's, he's like a sort of young one I once had before I went out long. That's enough of that talk. Oh, I know, Blackjack, but... Any I... man that goes soft on us knows what to look for. I ain't going soft. I only... You'd let the kid go back to his folks. Let him be able to tell what all of us look like. I well, reckon that wouldn't be good sense. Of course it wouldn't. It'd be suicide. Well, Jack, ain't well, one thing worries me about the getting of that cash. What's that? What if someone follows the boys when they get the trunk? <laughs> I've taken care of that. How's that? Garrett ties a rope to the trunk, don't he? Yeah. The other end of the rope is downstream under the water, about a hundred yards away from where the trunk is. When the boys are sure the coast is clear, they get the rope and ride quiet in the water. Uh-huh. Don't leave no trail. Not even bloodhounds could follow them. They come right here. As soon as they get here, we bust the trunk open, get the cash. Each of us loads our saddlebags and we clear out. Well. And no man can trail us. If any lawmen are watching, they won't see nothing. Because our boys will be around the bend. Yep, and won't move while anyone is around. But I don't think anyone will be close by. Not if what Lem said is true. I was in town all day. The sheriff's men ain't allowed to act. U.S. Marshal's got him clamped down. And they're all going nice with the U.S. Marshal, huh? Don't make too much noise. I ain't no use taking chances. There's someone coming. Stand ready. Get your guns out. Yeah. What's our men coming? If it ain't, you know what to do. Any sign of lawmen, be sure you get the kid first off. I'll stand close by the kid. That's our bunch, all right. Hi, boss. Hi there. You got him? Sure. Oh, where's the trunk? Right here. Carry it over here. You boys get the horses ready. Come on, boys. Bring it over here. I don't see you. Of course not. Well, mind you now, at the first sign anyone coming in here, take care of the kid. 
If he lives, any of us is captured. He'll tell what we look like. They got their orders, Hawk. You give a hand getting that trunk. Weighs plenty. It'd be mostly silver instead of gold. There. Yeah, that does it. Now open her up and let's see what all that cash looks like. You gents stand close with your horses and fill the saddlebag. What about the kid? We'll take him with us for a ways. Open the trunk. Water weren't deep enough to get her very wet. Mm, there we are. Fetch a torch here. Let me see what all this cash looks like. Hey, are, Jack. Who spilled oil around here? I don't know. Never mind the oil. Grab that silver. Good to get the feel of cash again. Don't waste time feeling of it. Pack it for moving. Here, Zeke. Get your bags filled. Get your horse closer. Right. You too, Hawk. Load up. Horse, looks like there's a fire of some sort over yonder. Oh, what about it? Just curious. Never mind that. Get this stuff packed up. I hanker to hit new trails. Might be a forest fire or something. It's a big blaze. Now, what of it? Hey, it's coming closer. Yeah, it's coming right this way. Moving along the ground fast. What? It is coming here. Hey, what's this oil? Look here. There's a can of it spilled in the trunk. <laughs> Who's that yelling? That fire's getting too close. Get that oil away from here. It's spilled all over the ground. The fire is here. The pump catch. My hands is covered with oil. Out, you on fire. Help me. The kid. I can't get my gun to search the fire. Don't shoot. Oh, my clothes. Help me. Beat that fire. Look out for the horse. Beat it out. Who's coming here? Help me, Jerry. Watch me. Get it. The here. We got a fire. For I'm a fire. I'm a fire. Get real coming. I'll be better. I'll show you. We'll handle it, Garrett. Get your son. Billy, old lad, oh, thank God you're alive, boy. The fire will burn out in a few seconds. Get them all tied while they're helpless. Martha, that masked man is a wonder. We captured every one of them, brought them in town, and threw them in jail. And my boy saved Oh, Billy, how did you manage to find them, Steve? The masked man blazed a trail to their camp with coal oil, set fire to it, and while they was trying to put it out, we rode in and took them. Oh, Billy, boy, don't ever, don't ever go with a stranger again. I won't, Mother. I'm sorry. He just didn't know, Marthy. But you do now, don't you, son? Oh, boy, I was so scared. I'll never, never do what you don't want me to do again. Oh, We'll say a prayer of thanks tonight, Marthy. have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.